battle starts. What's up, folks? This is Steel. Welcome to Steelcast 27. Today I have a subscriber series episode featuring Prince McKay in his Shimakaze Tier 10 Japanese Destroyer. My last subscriber series episode featured the Karbarovs, the Tier 10 Russian Destroyer. That is a gunboat. This is a Japanese stealth torpor extraordinaire. The maker of the torp walls featuring the Type 93 Long Lance Torpedo. As an interesting fun fact, any Japanese ship that had 24-inch torpedo launchers could and did indeed have the Type 93, including the Mutsuki at Tier 6. Now imagine a Mutsuki with Long Lance Torpedoes at Tier 6. Alright, stop imagining. It's ridiculous. I got in touch with Prince on the World of Warships forums last week when I was uh, barking one of my other uh, videos and uh, we got in a discussion and I offered to do a subscriber video for him and he accepted. Thank you very much Prince. I appreciate it. But it gave me an idea as well. So I went ahead and barked uh, a open subscriber series um, upload offer to anybody on the World of Warships forums to submit me a replay and I do a narrated uh, subscriber video for him and the response was overwhelming I did that earlier this week I have April filled out with subscribers so quick shout out to all those guys that offered to submit replays moving forward I might tweak it a little bit because I was thinking about all you subscribers out there that aren't on the forums exactly when I barked the offer so I was thinking about leaving a couple dates open for quality based video uploads um, you can email me at steelcast27 at gmail.com. Give me an explanation of how the match went, the damage, the kills, etc., high caliber, all that good stuff. And basically what will happen is I'll choose uh, which video is the best for that week, and I'll prioritize them by rank. It doesn't mean every video is going to get published, but I'm hoping to publish most of them. It really just depends upon volume. All right, so we're already in action. Prince has already dropped a Torp wall at a Nagato. Udaloy in the sights. So Prince decides to go guns hot against an Udaloy. That's pretty brave, I respect that. Guns hot, baby. The Udaloy is a better gunship though, so it doesn't look like Prince is gonna get this one. He's got a Fletcher in support, but check out the mini map. Look what everyone else is doing. Yeah, there's a Moskva in this match driven by a super tester and they're all gawking at him like Kim Kardashian at a Harris Teeter. The Udaloy is peppering Prince's jib. I think Prince wants to save his smoke, get out of detection range. Oh my god, he's still hitting him. Look at all these rounds coming in. His team is nowhere to be found. They're all distracted. <laughs> at any moment, they might decide to move out, but not right now. And Prince is in bad shape. He lost almost half his health. His engine's knocked out. He's got to wait for a repair. And he's got to be frustrated. Well, you know help, you know get spots. It looks like some of Prince's teammates are moving out just about now. So let's call that a reset and uh, give Prince a half health handicap. Taking a look at the mini map, it looks like the gearing and the other Shimikaze have set the corner. Wait, what? A torp hit? That was like a minute and a half ago. Those things last that long? Oh my god. That's crazy. <laughs> and he got a hit. Oh man. That starts the match off right. A blind torp to start the match. That's at probably around 17,000 damage. I hope they're not still going. All right, well, anyway, McKay's trying to line up another shot here. He's got that Udaloy. The Udaloy can't see him right now. The Prince is more focused on trying to squeeze some of these torps through the cracks, through the seams. He's trying to spread some torps like Country Croc, looking for nooks and crannies. Maybe some more blind hits. That would be awesome. People have a tendency to complain about torp walls on the forums. I just thought of a... A new nerf, or at least not a nerf, but a way to get people moving. 
If any t any times a Shimakaze shoots Torps and they reach the end of the map, they go to the opposite side of the map, like asteroids, and they start over from there. How about that? That would be awesome. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> it would suck. <laughs> Maybe that could be like an April Fool's Day uh, mini game, like World of Tanks had the Carl a couple years ago. You, you'd call it Atari mode or something where you could shoot torps and they would start again from the other side of the map. Oh boy. Well, let's see if those torpedoes are going to find anything. They're on their way. They have a chance. It looked like the uh, majority of the red team was heading to that little corner over there. So. Hopefully it catches one of these cruisers off guard. At least gets them moving. Not like they're moving anyway. They're just moving to behind the island. Not a big deal. That can be good or bad. Um, bad because they're all turtled up. Oh, oh, somewhere in the distance a cruiser weeps. A weeps sweet salty tears. Oh my god, another blind hit. I can't believe it. Uh, good and bad because... You know, when they're behind the islands, they can't shoot back at your team, but it forces uh, the green team to uh, move into position to shoot them, and then it's a focus fire turtle, um, and that's difficult to overcome. Usually, you need a destroyer to go in there, stealth mode and torp, just like what Prince is doing. But, man, with these torp walls, you uh, really need to relearn your game. It doesn't matter if you drive in a straight line anymore because <laughs> he's not aiming for you that's for sure they're just on their way don't get spotted <laughs> go to the back of the map everybody that's the new strategy well there is a bug in the replay system it looks like it uh it looks like it's it's making it look like prince is using a wide spread when he's actually using a narrow spread and that's uh i wonder if you you just use narrow spreads all the time with the Shimikaze. I mean, five torps. Three long, three spreads of five torps. That's 15 torps. You don't need a wide spread. Just use a narrow spread every single time. And this is kind of what I was talking about. Any ship from the green team that tries to go around that corner is getting focused down. Oh, my God. That's another hit. An angel got its wings. Thank you, Christmas Torp Angel. Well, it's not Christmas. All right, well, it still works. An angel still gets his wings when it's not Christmas, right? I don't know. Never really thought about it. Anyway, see, like, looking at, um, from Prince's, if you were in a cruiser right here, who would you shoot at? I mean, obviously, that destroyer just got spotted, but you're shooting at guys behind those islands, and you don't have any shots. But if you move to get a shot... You're going to get some hits. It's going to be a tit-for-tat. I hate tit-for-tats. You're guaranteed to lose hit points and try to get some damage. But, man, those torps are so long range. Another hit! <laughs> this is craziness. This is insanity. Who invented this game? This is crazy. Long lance torpedoes are the... Oh, my God. I don't even have words for it. It's kind of like... World of Whack-A-Mole. Uh, it's just launch some torps, get some damage. Next match. If I were Prince, the only thing I'd be really worried about is that Oodaloy. But it doesn't look like he followed the destroyers to where they are on the green team. Like he's not doing his job. But like now he's getting charged by Hipper. So I guess he might have a good game in a gunfight with a Hipper, getting some damage here and there. But he really needs to be over here where Prince is and scaring him off. But it just looks like a shooting gallery at this point. Instead of an air gun, you have long lance torpedoes or whatever the gearing shoots. I don't even know. Mark something or others, 15s. And it looks like uh, Prince is actually debating whether or not to go after this Oodaloy with his guns and help get him down so they have another angle to shoot behind those uh, islands. But he's having such success over here, just blind torpin. Why bother? And it looks like that Udaloy is going to go down anyway. Oh my god! Blind Yahtzee! <laughs> Yahtzee! 
Was that a destroyer? Ah! It was! It was a destroyer! <laughs> look at chat! Look at chat! You do realize at this point we're gonna be D Boob dead <laughs> That is hysterical. Man, you can't write rudder when you're running your yap. <laughs> That's a huge fail. Oh, I guess that gearing didn't realize he might be uh, on YouTube at the time. That's classic, dude. That's awesome. Oh my god, I'm never gonna get over that. Oh no, that guy's in trouble too. Look at all those swords into him. Well, at least Goon Prime is uh, he's a good sport about it. <laughs> it's all it, it happens, I guess. <laughs> oh man, I have a tendency not to type and chat that much, especially when I'm in combat. But I guess it doesn't matter. You're always in combat in tier 10 with Shimakaze long lances. Man. Well, Prince, I don't know if it would be better if it was blind or if it was aimed. If he would aim that shot, that would have been amazing. I don't know what would make him feel better. But look at this. What is this? <laughs> Pretty maids all in a row. You've never been cow tipping before? You haven't lived. Oh, and the torps come up right when he needs them. Might be fool's gold, gold though. That Montada's going to throw it up, I bet. This Yamato, though, he looks like he's pissed. He just wants to angle in. That Udaloy back there, I think he got frustrated and just charged the majority of the green team. They look like they're still kind of like looking at that Moskova. Because I don't see any shot angles from them. The Shimato shooting back at the pack. I don't think he can miss with that pack. It looks like it's so tight. There's The ships per square inch is uh, really high back there by the cap. Oh man, that looks good. They look good. At least one, maybe two. Let's see. There's one, two. <laughs> Full damage on a Yamato. He's raging right now. He's got to be pissed. He doesn't care at this point. I think there's certain points in matches where you just don't give a crap anymore. <laughs> That's what this looks like. The Montana's out of there. Smart move. But Prince is smoked up. He can't be seen. He's getting his last little nickel and dimes in. Oh, and he gets the kill with a fire. I'm pretty certain that was a fire kill, man. Nice job on a Yamato. That's another notch on the belt. Looks like Prince's torpedoes are going to be back up. The only thing on this side is a huge threat to a tier 10 match, a hipper. So, I don't know. If that hipper can really pull this corner off by himself, I think he's the next on the lemming train of frustration. But Prince's team still has four ships by the cap. Did they even shoot? <laughs> Does it matter? That's more more taste for Prince, baby. Yeah. All right, Torp's back online. Let's see if he goes for one spread. That hipper's not going to turn in, man. There's no way. So he leads him on the other side of the island. He's going to make a run for the border. So those look like they might be good, actually. Prince, what is your Yamato doing? <laughs> what is he scared of? There's nothing here except for a hipper. <laughs> He's kind of taking a weird angle to approach this game could be over by now if that Yamato moved up normally but I guess the fight is by that that uh, southeastern island in the center there and that's what everyone's trying to angle in on there's a Des Moines there it's been tucked in all match like uh, world of tanks we need uh, we need some arty to dislodge that Des Moines get some splash on him but man, a tier 10 match with no with no carriers. Got to love no CV matches in a DD. It means you can have a conversation between torp reloads, spread some goodwill. I'm sure Prince is writing algorithms and solving climate change in between torp walls. 
It looks like the Yamato just avoided six torps. Now, is that from a hipper? I don't know how many torps a hipper has. It can't be. It's got to be a destroyer spread, right? So that means there's one more destroyer left. And, oh, no, there is one recon plane. Did he just get shot down? I wonder. He's ready to put those 18-inch hit-point erasers to good use. He already smashed somebody, I saw. I think he's going to smash this next guy, too. He should. Well, some damage. Oh, oh, no! Jesus. Yamato. Ambush. <laughs> Yamato ambush. It works. This match just got real. Oh, the Des Moines is in trouble. Look, he's trying to find a place to hide, a place to set up camp. Return fire from the Des Moines. He's, he knows what he's doing, right? Low health, but he's tucked in. Step, step one, drive to a rock. Step two, camp. Step three, watch team die. And then step four, type noob team in chat. <laughs> That guy's been behind these islands this whole match. Just throttle gaming back and forth. Now the Yamato's had enough. But the one thing that the Des Moines has going for him, he's got 10,000 millimeters of stone armor, which is good. He's going to need it. I can't help but think of how this match started with uh, most of Prince's team just gawking at that Moskva. They didn't even move out. It doesn't matter. You have these... Uh, the destroyers setting the pincer points and the pinch points. And it's just a shooting gallery at that point. I'm not saying this match was difficult but or easy for a lot of guys. Some guys died, but but it's pretty impressive. <laughs> when one team tries and the other team doesn't, <laughs> the team that doesn't try wins. Well, at least half the team that doesn't try. Oh. <laughs> That's a cheap kill, Fritz. I like it though. <laughs> when you tuck yourself in, you get put to sleep, buddy. <laughs> That's what happens. And Yamato's got nine tactical nukes going out on that Montana. But the Montana's angled. I thought the Yamato one shot Montana's on the first shot, salvo every every time. Well, what do I know? The farthest I've gotten is a Magi. And every time I see a Yamato, I drop a brown in my pants. Whenever he has a firing angle and I see yellow inbound. <laughs> oh, this is the end of the match. The red team has got no chance. They're just trying to get that last damage to help their their uh, warships today rating. <laughs> gotta stay, gotta stay blue, man. <laughs> I'm gonna turn away and kite. Now, I haven't been paying attention, but somehow five ships got sunk on the green team. How did that happen? I know, like, two or three got sunk around that corner. But I guess when they started fighting on open water, and uh, the, the red team knew that there wasn't any destroyers over there, they could shoot and focus guys. Maybe after they saw the Moskva, they got impatient and started going right down the middle. Who knows? Who cares? Setting up some last tour pits. Prince has already had a great game. I mean, I would take all those blind torps, and that's it. But he's looking for more. It's tough torping when guys are turning away. And this guy's just doing circles. Oh, the Yamato went down. No way. That's hacks, dude. Montanas can't beat Yamatos. That can't happen. <laughs> Well, this game just got a lot more interesting. We have a Zhao and a Montana, two very dangerous ships. But if you look at the time of the match, it's not as as long as the reload for Prince's next torp, so it's guns hot time. It's trying to set a fire. Get some of that last damage. I would gladly pay for repairs for more damage. I don't know about you, but that's what I would do. I don't care if this Montana sinks me or not. So long as I set a fire, <laughs> it ticks for a thousand more. I'll pay for it. I don't care. Stats! <laughs> but not if he hits me at the last second. Oh, that was a good chunk of change. But this game's over. Good job, Prince.
seven tour pits, most of them blind, three kills, 62 gun hits. Came in second, 2300 experience base. That's an awesome match. 130 something thousand damage. Great job, man. And thanks again. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like or comment. And if you're interested in seeing more content in the future, subscribe. My live stream is currently on Twitch at the URL you can see right there. And if you're interested in even more World of Warships videos, I highly recommend The Taste. The link is down below. Thanks again.